for being here tonight. Um, my question, it's quite admirable how uh, you work well with so many other members of parliament and so many people who have opinions vastly different than your own. I wonder, stepping forward, since the goal here is very clear that it's about preserving our environment and we have 12 years to do something about climate change. And in that thought or in that idea, would you consider coalition candidates in ridings where the Green Party candidate might not be successful, especially in light of the fact that the conservative viewpoint and the conservative ideology of how to approach climate change is so diametrically opposed from pretty much everyone else in Parliament? Do you ever think there's an opportunity in those ridings? I live in Regina, Capel, Andrew Shear's riding. In a riding like, in a riding like that, do you think we could uh, do you think we can think about working with the Liberals and the NDP? At least there's more common ground than maybe working with Conservatives. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you for your question. Well, as I said, the Greens are very much about cooperation. You will be shocked to hear that the proposal you make would find me in violation of the Elections Act. The Elections Act has now explicitly ban uh, forbidden parties to work together to stop another party or parties working together in relation to candidates. So in for, I definitely want to cooperate with everybody in a minority parliament after an election, but um, I could go on about this. This is a, a particularly, I think it's a difficult thing that, that the Elections Act entrenches partisanship to that extent, but it does. Uh, meanwhile, I'll do my very, very best in the national leadership, national leaders debate, the televised debate, to, to, to make sure that, that people in your riding will consider that they don't find their own member of parliament to be, um, well, I'll do my best to make sure that he doesn't uh, ever have very many MPs elected with him because their policies, are, that's the number one reason, their policies on climate are basically, Andrew Shear's personal attitude is the problem. There are many good conservative MPs who understand the climate crisis and would like to do something about it, but uh, one of those MPs is not Andrew Shear. <laughs>